Hi, my name is Sarah Lupton and I'm the Principal Trainer in Europe for Extra Hera. And in this video, we're going to actually see how you set up and run your method. So we need the Run Batch Process button and we'll pick up the demonstration SLE method that we prepared in an earlier video. So prepare run. This is the screen that shows you what has happened. Now I have moved some of the tips around so the first thing we're going to do is make sure that the tips that we have in the racks matches the tips we have on the screen. So that one is fine but this one is different. So if I want to change the tips I just add them on this screen like this and if you're putting a brand new plate on you can use this toggle button down here but I've got five rows missing so empty these rows and we make sure that this pattern matches what we have here. Then we have to make sure we have our extraction plate in place and our sample plate in place. These two plates work together so the columns that you pick on your extraction media are the same as the ones you'll pick from your sample plate. So we'll run half a plate here. Also we've got the solvents and this one is telling us that we haven't used ethyl acetate on solvent reservoir 2. So we'll pick it up and we'll prime that solvent. Now when we go back to the screen, we'll see that everything is blue and is fine to go. So as long as there are no red marks and no orange highlights on this plate, then we're okay to run. You can give the plate a name, so we'll call it demonstration version one. If you wish to put the lot number of the SLE or SPE plate, you can. And if you have a collection plate ID, such as a barcoded plate, you can put it in this section. Also, we have a report and comment section. This means that you can choose the sections of the method that you want reproduced in the report. You can put a comment, so if a sample is particularly hemolyzed, for example, if you were using plasma, you could make a comment here. You could also use that field to put in the analyst's name or the date or a batch number. Again, you can do the same. You've got a report name and you could, if you wished, import a work list via this LIMS file and the USB port at the back of the screen. The LIMS import will just reproduce your work list in the report. You have to check that you have everything in the positions that you've asked and it will tell you which plates should be in which point on the carousel. So we need a collection plate for elution one in position B and we have main waste in position D. Then everything is ready to go and we just push run and the method will start. It brings up the screen and it shows you which parts of the method it's in and it, where it's got to in the method. So you can watch progress as it goes through. Thank you for watching.